Finally, a movie about robots that doesn't involve the past, present, and future. Thank you, God. Ben Powell. Oh, come on. I really enjoyed this movie. I mean, it kept a smile on my face. I was like so into the movie that I felt like I was one of the soldiers that was in a real fucked up situation in this movie. I felt like I was a part of the movie watching the movie. I really enjoyed it. The movie starts off with these soldiers. You see them and the one soldier's telling the other soldier, he's like, man, I'm tired of this training exercise. Like, when are we going to get out there in the field? Next thing you know, they get they get a, a, a mission. They get a mission brief to go take care of some shit. So they get on, they about to get on the plane or whatever, and then you see this other woman with like these like eyes. She has some awesome eyes, like these really cool artificial intelligent eyes, so she could tell anybody. Like when she look at people, which is I, I, I don't know if she had a chip in her head. I don't know what was yes. causing that. Like, huh? Yes. Yeah, she had a chip in her head. Yes. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I just it just in my mind. I just didn't think that. I thought that she was like sort of like half woman, half robot, but she was mostly human but she could control a lot of things through her brain so she can like read your face and all that good shit she can even shut down weapons and shut down robots to some extent she could control things like open up doors shut doors i mean that is awesome i love it and uh they get to the mission they get to the mission place or whatever where they, where they went out for their mission and turns out that their mission ain't what they thought they was there for and then while they ran across some problems with these like tank looking robots and shit. They see that they patrolling. So they're like, no, something wrong. Like, why is they why is it why is it robots just patrolling? What, what's going on? So they they decided they wanted to take the robots out. And of course the robots also had like the training exercise like type dummies sitting on top of them or whatever. So that is weird. So you see these like weird ass drones like flying them, like recording what they're doing and then running away. And it turns out that they run into like the the head robot that's trying to that that basically lured them there to use them for target practice. So basically they're gonna start off with these they starting off with these soldiers so they can learn how their their tactics and learn our tactics so they can come kill all our asses. And basically that's what that's what the deal is. That's what's going down. The robot set them up, made them felt like they was there for a mission, but the mission was them to die. And this movie is awesome. And before I say anything else, let's give this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie two thumbs up and a big ass body face. <laughs> Energizer. My favorite part in this movie, my favorite part was Stevenson. He was my favorite character because he also had like the little AI type situation in his eye. A lot of part when the other bots was like trying to snipe him from 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 the angle that where he was at, and I like how he took his sniper rifle, he took his gun and put it over his head, and he still could see out the fucking lens of the gun, and he was still taking their asses out. I was like, <laughs> yes. I loved it. This movie was awesome. The movie is directed by Steve Gomez, written and directed. How awesome is that? He written, he wrote this shit and directed it, and it was awesome. I loved it, man. Bring us more, because I love you. You're awesome. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to let me know what you think about Kill Command, because I told you what I thought about it. I thought it was awesome. It got my highest rating. I highly recommend it. And to all my movie lovers, <laughs> I love you.